What is up, everybody? Welcome to today's Lunch Break Let's Play, where Jonathan is continuing to play The Last of Us. He's going to catch us up to where we just left off on HBO's show last night. What's up, guys? So uh, the last Let's Play we did, um, we got to the edge of Bill's town here. So we just got to, it's just a short little bit where we get this truck going down the road. But I'm just going to quickly run over here and just, oh, grab some, uh, some stuff. Oh, that's what I'm looking on now. Hello, Jared Vester. Thanks for joining us. So anyway, rocky start there, but I wasn't paying attention. Jonathan, what's your lunch today? Um, so I'm still doing my uh, master cleanse. I'm on day five. So it's been uh, water, lemon juice, maple syrup, and cayenne pepper um, all day, every day. Uh, except you can have like mint tea at night. And uh, so that's that. So I'm on day five right now. Tomorrow, I'm going to go 12 days. So tomorrow is day six. I'm halfway there tomorrow. Nice, nice. I have a cup of almonds and cashews and a black cherry Waterloo. So that's what I've got going on. Oh, <laughs> wrong camera. Alright, so we'll move this down a little bit. Let's get to the hill at the end of the Hello, Daniel Sanchez. Thanks for joining us. What up, Kenneth? How's it going? Callum asks where everyone else is. Lunch! <laughs> ah, that clicker got me right away. I thought that was a runner. I'm always going to struggle with, like, having these lights in my eyes and then trying to see detail on the screen. Yeah. You guys can't see it on your end, but in front of Jonathan, there's pretty really big bright lights. Beyond. So looking at the screen, it's like a little tedious. All right, Albert run, 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 run. Uh, how soon do you think we'll get Abby in The Last of Us show? Isn't she in the second game or is she in the first game? Uh, that's the second game. Then I think it's the second season. Uh, unless, okay, do I have shotgun ready? Also. Alright. So the idea, we're going to get out of here. And I'm going to go through the next segment until we meet um, Henry and, uh, and uh, his brother. Okay. Ooh, someone's calling me. Can I answer it on air? No. <laughs> it says no caller ID. I'm curious. I bet it's someone with the script for Rob. Could be. If so, take it. Got this. Alright, these are runners. I like how they just ignore Bill. Oh, come on! Doesn't help that my hands are freezing, too. Jared Vester wants to know mushrooms on pizza, yes or no? I think yeah, yeah, I like mushrooms. Yeah. I like mushroom and onion. Mm -hmm. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Daniel says there should be a Mortal Kombat tournament. That'd be fun. Do you like Mortal Kombat, Jonathan? Uh, I mean, I used to. I used to know all the finishing moves, but it's been so long since I played. Reload, Kenneth, not swing a bat. And it says my name should be K Dubs. Nice, nice. That's a good one. Why is it not? I'm like literally clicking the trigger and it's like not shooting. Alright, let me just reload. I see some supplies up here. CJ says they could never get past the hanging upside down part in the game and they ended up watching it on oh, YouTube. Yeah. We just passed that part not, not too long ago before we met Bill. Thursday, right? I yeah. Think it was Thursdays. That took me a while too, but not normally as long as it uh, has been. All kinds of ammo here. Yeah, Ant-Man World premieres today. A couple of my friends are there right now. I'm very jealous. Oh. I 
he come from? Alright, let's move down a little further. Oh yeah, Turkey just had Turkey and Syria just had that big earthquake, 7.5. Oh, is that why someone said pray for Turkey? I yeah, I didn't know what they were referring to. Yeah, that's. Oh crazy. come on! Uh, what is the what is the key to turn around and run? It's like it's like left bumper and and just back maybe. That's what I keep trying to do, and I keep hitting the the punch button. It's driving me insane. Hmm. And, and then I end up going like right into a clicker when I'm trying to run away. Uh, Mr. 47 says down and X, Jonathan. Down and, oh, it's down and X, not down and bumper. No wonder I keep like not running away. I got swarmed there and I'm like trying to get away from them. Alfonso says earthquake here this morning at 4.30 a.m. Wow. Hopefully you're okay. That's, that's really scary. I don't know Just run! Guys, I'm sorry. This is so hard playing with the lights in my eyes. I feel like, do you want me to turn them down and just see if it's... I don't think it'll be that different. Anymore. I'm just getting a little frustrated now. I feel bad for everyone watching. This shouldn't take this long. Wow. Uh, no Limit Burke said over 5,000 people have passed away from that. Earthquake. Yeah. Alright. Remember me getting this stuff? Yes. All right, I'll try it again. It's the problem is by the time he screws around the stupid runners and the clicker comes and grabs them. You know that, Joel, huh? Here they come. Is there a way to lower the difficulty just for this part? I'm literally telling him to run and he's like swinging around. I don't know if it's my controller or what, because sometimes I click on the trigger and he doesn't shoot. Thanks for joining us, Jared. Have a good rest of your day. Your main hall says put it on kid mode. Is there like a easier? I don't need it on this? kid mode. I just need my controllers to start working. Go! I literally am saying run and he's punching. Run! I'm literally hitting the bumper to run and it's punching. And it's really pissing me off right now. I should have got just through this stupid part and then started the stream. Sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on with these controllers. Even when I hit the trigger, it doesn't always it doesn't always shoot. There's like a delay. Do you think someone changed the control settings? No, no way. No. Like we didn't do for Bond. We gotta do that still. I wanna play more Golden Eye. Load. Thank you. Get her to the hill. Every time I hit the bumper to run, he just started punching, and it was driving me insane. I don't know if it was a glitch or what. Hello, Simba. <laughs> All right, Ellie, get ready. All right. Now, of All course, right, you probably won't up. get it on the first try. CJ says, you got this, Mr. Reeves. Go, oh, run. Don't... It's just like, we're... I don't like this part that much because they literally come out of the ground like the living dead or something. And they don't just come out of the ground. So... Oh my gosh. Uh, Itchy in the live chat says, the problem is you're not using a Wii steering wheel. And I thought that was a runner because I couldn't see. That's why I didn't shoot. That's why I didn't shoot the clicker. I thought I was another runner. 
At least it saved us down there. We might have to turn these lights down. If I can't yeah. tell the difference between right uh, a runner and yeah, a clicker, please. that's a problem. Right Run. I like the one that's the most um, offensive. Or this one? Uh -oh. Okay, this is ridiculous. I do not remember this many people on this. I swear this remaster is harder. It, it's definitely harder. There was never this many, and I used to play on moderate all the time. And now this is like a horde. You know what this reminds me of? Days Gone. It's just like a horde comes at you. Mm -hmm. And they're literally coming out of the ground. Oh, we got a special guest up in the studio joining us now. We have the one. The Chris. Chris. Well, yeah, we've been out of bagels for a little bit. I didn't know you wanted them, so I'll put them on the list. No, that's okay. I forgot to pack my lunch today. I was like, I'm just eating those bagels. You want a cup of nuts? That's what I've been eating. Run, run. Yeah, she's so great. How your microphone? Oh, you're sitting on it. Oh, no. I'm just uh, about to throw my controller to the screen because the controls aren't working. And. I can barely see, and there's just like a stupid horde. Yeesh. Definitely. Uh, Kenneth says, Chris, save Jonathan. Well, I like how Henry, I like how uh, <laughs> what am Bill's I gonna here, do? and he's just doing nothing. Bill's just like standing there doing nothing. Love has made him soft. Look at this, come on. Oh my god. Oh. Ooh. Oh, no. No. Yeah. oh! There's just clickers everywhere! There literally were six clickers. Mm -mm. Oh, Creus is super out of focus. <laughs> I'm super out of focus? Yeah. I fix it. I mean, you could be anonymous this way. Like, change your voice. <laughs> I'm going to try something different. Game. I'm just going to see if we can, like, hook up here and just push and go. Because okay. this is... This is ridiculous. Uh, are you kidding me? I thought I, I thought I had to push her again. Oh. I thought she stalled. That's the only reason I didn't do that. Uh, Mister Forty Seven. I think Ray did watch last night's episode. I thought she stalled out again. We had to push her again. I would have just jumped in a long time ago. Stop. Seconds from disaster. Welcome. Yeah, we've been doing these lunch, uh, lunch break let's plays. Getting through the game to where the episodes have been leaving off week to week, it's been pretty fun. You gotta admit, she did hold her own back there. Simba says, you it's okay, Jonathan, I feel your pain. Oh, oh. Uh, here. What's this? You'd be amazed at how many cars still got gas in them. There's a siphon. Appreciate it. Oh, that part was so funny. Bill, uh... Got your buddy back there. Uh, that's a tough deal. Where's Rob? I got a box of scripts. <laughs> I think Rob went to lunch. He did. TFTI Rob. Well, I mean, I couldn't go anyways. <laughs> All right, Ellie. Let's go to the worst city in the world right now. Pittsburgh? Not normally, but I'm just saying in, in this game, it's mm. awful. CJ wants to know why we aren't all at lunch right now. Well, I'm fasting. I'm I got my nuts. Five. I forgot to bring mine. Man. I forgot to bring mine, too. Mm. My Trader Joe's salad. But once the uh, once this cleanse stops uh, after day 12 and all that, and I go back to food, eventually I want to do pizza for one of these. Oh, yeah. And eat it on the couch. No napkins. <laughs> Did you get that? Bills. I mean, all this stuff was just lying there. What else did you get? Well, here. Let's make you all nostalgic. This is gonna be Hank Williams. They did this. My time. <laughs> that is a winner, though. And that was the line too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw a side-by-side -side comparison. It was so good. Sure your friend will be missing this tonight. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> light on the reading, but it's got some interesting photos. Now, Ellie, that ain't for kids. Whoa! How how the hell would you even walk around with that thing? Get rid of that. <laughs> hold your horses. I want to see what all the fuss is about. Oh, why are these all stuck together? Um. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Bye bye, dude. Pittsburgh. Now in the game or in the movie, in the show, it's Kansas, Kansas City, City, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which I kind of like because I feel like they really didn't get far from Boston, you know and then there's this big jump in the game. Yeah. This isn't that bad. What's he trying to get upset? Right. I'm not even tired. Chat's quiet or what? No, sorry, I had a mouthful of nuts. Hmm? Well, also we have been trying to be, keep quiet during the uh, the cutscenes. Yeah. The cutscenes. Uh, let's see. Okay, so you know what's funny in the show. They had a bridge like that. So I'm like, oh, they're there. But they were just passing through. Mm -hmm. It was a misdirect. All right, so this is good. We'll watch through this, and then we'll... Yeah, we got some questions that I'll read when we're done with this. All right. So have, if you, how many of you guys have been watching the show but haven't played the game? It was like 50-50 the first time we did this. So I'm curious to see how it's changed. Uh, Miguel say Seha wants to know what Ray's story was that had everyone dying this morning. Oh, we'll get to that. Ooh. Are we gonna help him? Put your seatbelt on, Ellie. Well, what about the guy? He ain't even hurt. <laughs> In this game, you can find the map that these guys have out with the. It has the diagram of the, the trap and how they do it. Kind of interesting. But this was just like the show, Crash Games. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so we'll get into some gameplay here. Uh, as far as Ray, he was just saying it uh, It uh, kind of helped him evacuate a whole lot of stuff he wasn't expecting one day, and it was just a hilarious story. Oh, yeah. But we won't get into detail. It was just about a, what was it, a, a wheat shot from John Yeah, a wheat grass shot. shot. Yeah, the effects it had on his body, but he went to Which I've done a wheat grass shot, I was saying before, too, like, I, I had it once, it was fine. I had it a, a second time on a different day. And, uh, better not. And it made me vomit. It made my stomach churn and vomit. Wheatgrass can be hard on your stomach. Oh, that'll do it. Let's see. Yeah, No Limit Burke, we're just going to play up to the part of where the show ended. And then we've been doing it week to week just to keep up with the show. But we won't go past anything that we haven't seen. Savage Joel. What's wrong with these guys? Oh yeah, hashtag mouthful of nuts. Alright, we got any more questions? Because mm. this is basically going to be like gunplay now. Yeah. Stay down. Crack shot. Oh, wait, we don't want that one, we want this one. Come on, there we go. There was one that I was trying to... Oh, here we go. From the Matt Films uh, show. Thanks, guys, for making my mornings the best. Uh, way to wake up. Uh, let's see. have been a fan since the AMC days. Love the Let's Plays and open mics. Keep up the amazing work, guys. Thank you so much, Matt. I really appreciate that. That's very kind of you to say. Always check drawers while you're being shot at. It's a pro way move. To, safest way to get through any... <laughs> Oh. oh no! Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right. Run, go back. Come on. I don't know. I the controls on this are a little like it's hard to explain. Oh, they're the same controls, but like they're not as responsive as I'm used to. Oh, I don't have a med pack. The that Jay Shrey Way Taylor. Did you see the new Screen Six TV spot? It looks dope. No, but. Yesterday I saw on Twitter there's one it's like a super cut of <laughs> All right, looks like we are back, so I will uh, unmute us. Oh, well, and we're unmuted even though I pressed mute, so we're good. <laughs> can you guys right, uh, Yeah, can you guys hear and see us okay? Let me know in the chat. So anyways, I was talking about Scream 6. There's a new thing I saw on uh, Twitter, and it's basically like 
Gale Weathers, Kirby. It was like a bunch of the main cast and they were pulling a knife out of the thing. It was just showing all the main characters. So I'm very excited for it. But I haven't seen the newest uh, TV spot for it. I'm going to try and avoid any further trailers and TV spots because I don't want to see the whole movie before I go see it. Pablo says, Pooh, Blood and Honey had a wide release in Mexico last week. I got to see it and thought it was absolute. oh no, absolutely dismal. I'm curious to see what you guys think of it though, once it hits the States. So here in the States, it was going to just be one night only, February 15th, but they made the right choice in extending it. So I think it's one <laughs> week only now. I'm planning on seeing it on the 15th, but I might be going to an advanced screening of Ant-Man on the 15th. So if I don't go to that, I'll be seeing Pooh. And if I do go to that, oh, I'll go as soon as I can. But I'm I'm interested. It was the number one horror film in Mexico. Very, very exciting. Come on, three shots. Oof. Swap this out because it has more life. Oh, I can. Random question. This one's from Simba. Sorry, Chris. We're... I was going to say, there's one from Anthony uh, Manzano in here. Um, Chris, why is it so hard for a voiceover actor to transition from doing voiceover acting to playing the same character they did in the sh when the show becomes live action? Because we don't always necessarily look like the character we play. We don't always, uh, we aren't us the same age as them. Take Ashley Johnson in this. She is far too old to be playing a 14-year-old girl. Whereas when you're doing mocap or voice acting, um, you can fudge your age and stuff like that. Um, the actress who plays Marlene is reprising her role. She's the only actor in the series to do that. Um, they wigged her. Uh, because she looks much younger than she is in real life. But uh, yeah, mostly it's just because of those kinds of logistics. On In voiceover, you can fudge your age so much more than you can on camera. Otherwise, it'd be like some real weird CW kind of casting. Hope that answers your question. All right, I had to lower this light over here because it was really... I'm already getting a bad glare from the window behind us. And yeah. then the light was giving me like a headache in this eye. So that's a little better. From Simba, random question for Taylor. I'm a huge Halloween fan, and I didn't think Ends was as bad as people made it out. What did you think about it? I, I thought Halloween Ends was terrible. <laughs> I was pissed. I had just seen Lyle Lyle Crocodile, like, the week before. And I was like, it can't be worse than that. And it was. Mm -hmm. I was just so bummed. Oh, I'm, Lyle, I'm fine Lyle with what good. happened. Like, the end, I don't want to spoil anything. Like, the end results, I'm fine with that. Just the way it happened, and... They, I feel like it was a Halloween movie without focusing on Michael Myers and without giving Jamie Lee Curtis the, the ending she deserves. So it was, it was a bummer for me. I wanna, there we go. The J. Shrey way, I did not play Sonic Frontiers. I didn't have a GameCube. Is that one I should play? Logan has a GameCube. We have one in our house now. Is but it worth it? Are most, most of that stuff didn't get ported over to Switch or no? I don't know. I would assume it did. Maybe. I can look into it. If it's worth playing, let me know. John D. Alvis says, I want to watch Lyle Lyle. Oh, no. Crocodile. Is it a funny movie? I saw it with Amy Newman. And we were busting up the whole movie. And after we did a little review, it's on my Instagram, of us talking about the movie. And it was weird because it was just Amy, me, my boyfriend David... And then a bunch of single dads with their kids. And they I guess that's that's what they decided to do on their weekend with the kids. And whew, I, I don't know. It wasn't it wasn't for me. I'm not gonna say it's a bad movie, but it just I, Blackjack Hooligan wants to know, Jonathan, how the fast is going. It's going okay. Uh there's been some hard days, but uh not too bad. This is day five. So I'm down about eight and a half pounds. Um Size-wise, I can tell I've gone down a little bit. And cravings aren't nearly as bad anymore. And once in a while, I'll get like a a flash of like, ooh, I want that, you know. But my cravings have been a lot better. First couple days are always the hardest. Um, we'll see if I can get to 12. That's my goal. Uh, CJ Rebirth says Sonic Frontiers is on the Switch. And that he def definitely recommends it. And love the Constance Wu song in Lyle. I think my nieces would have liked Lyle. Uh, I can't remember. I just couldn't stop there. laughing. I was just having a good night that night. I don't even think... I think I was sober. Really sober for that movie. Joey Baboe wants to know what Chris is munching on. Cashews. 
Yeah. Oh, wait. Do I go through here or something? Benjamin, yeah. Taylor, have you seen the original Halloween? Yeah, actually, um, I live pretty close to the original Myers house, the original neighbor's house, the original... Um, like, all the houses are pretty much like an old, like, uh, <laughs> Pasadena area. And I go visit them every year uh, with my puppy. And actually, my, my picture... My profile picture on my YouTube channel. That's me in front of the Myers house. <coughs> uh, I love the original. And it's really fun to go visit it every year. Oh, JK said, yeah. Uh, not a single dad, but it was just him and his daughter. And he agrees. It seemed like there were a lot of single dads watching Lyle. It was funny because in the review, I said, um, I feel like it was either take your kid to see Lyle Lyle Crocodile or introduce them to their second family. <laughs> Oh, has anyone cinema uh, sauce wants Ooh. to know if anyone's been watching Poker Face yet on Peacock? I haven't. I haven't yet. I need to. I really, really want to check it out. So what I just grabbed there, this tools, it'll allow me to upgrade guns. Be uh, my weapons beyond be on a certain point now to the next tier. Sweet. So you want to try to find those. Ooh, looks like we get smoke powder. Oh, this is another VO question from Anthony. Uh, Chris, why is it so hard for voiceover actors to get work compared to what you see with regular actors who are not doing voiceover? First of all, regular actor is a term that really bums me out. It's all acting. It's just different mediums. Um, there's no difference in terms of hardship of getting work. There's none whatsoever. Um, if it were easy to get on camera work, we'd all be getting wonderful, wonderful jobs on network television. If it were easy to get voiceover work, we'd all be on fantastic Disney animated series and movies. Um, it really just depends on the actor. That's all. Voiceover animation is a very, very like small group. And there's several people who seem to get those jobs over and over again. That's because they're really good at what they do. Um, and there's tons of areas of voice acting. I mostly do commercials and some video games. Some people do audiobooks. Some people get Tonys for audiobooks. Some people do. And then they EGOT. <laughs> woo woo. Anthony Manzano says Chris, Jonathan, and Taylor, what soundtrack or song from the soundtrack did you feel was in our match for the movie in recent years that you've watched? In our match for the movie. What? About the ambush. Wanna try that again? Chris, Jonathan, and Taylor, what soundtrack or song from the soundtrack did you feel was in our match for the movie in recent years that you've watched? Which soundtrack though? Yeah, but which? Yeah. Were we just talking about a, we were talking about Lyle. I don't know if. I didn't see Lyle. So that I wouldn't yeah. know. Yeah. I'll see Whoa. if uh, if Anthony Manzano. Uh, oh, in general, he, he said in general. Uh, and like match from what? Yeah, <clears throat> I'm still confused by this. Like, what song or soundtrack do we like the most? Or like that music was really fitting for the improved first date. Oh, good. Okay, those are good to get too. Mm -hmm. In the meantime. CJ Rebirth says, Chris, have you seen Disney's Atlantis and the Stuart Little films? I loved Michael J. Fox since Back to the Future and think he has a unique voice, which is why I'm a fan of mentioning oh, okay. uh, of the mentioned thing. movies. I love those movies. Yeah. Stuart Little is choice. It's a great adaptation of the book. And Atlantis, I think, is very, very underrated. That's one of those Disney movies that I figured would have been made into a live action by now because it just wasn't particularly well received in comparison to other Disney animated films. And it's so fun. Mm -hmm. It's really, really fun. It's they really had fun. this scene. Remember, they were driving by an alley, and there was this, like, kind of small Oh, yeah. Room. Yeah. Um, before I go there, I'm going to go in here and do some work on upgrades. Matt Films Show says, do you guys think this game is hard? I've been playing it again due to the show on HBO, but I've been having a hard time. See, this is where I was talking about. They, like, oh, funnel them here, bus ram here. Their little, like, plan to get us, which worked. I uh, do I think this game is hard? Yeah, it can be very hard. Yeah. This is a moderate, and for some reason, I swear on this remastered version, it's harder than normal. Oh my gosh, Chris, this is a good question for you, because I don't know. Are there Nepo voice babies, and how do you get in the good graces? <laughs> oh my gosh. Are there Nepo voice babies? That's I'm trying question. to think. I mean, Cree Summers, technically, I think, was uh, she's the daughter of an actor, and she started on television, and then, you know ended up voicing Penny for Inspector Gadget, but she's such an incredible actress who has really made her own way in the world and is just such a sought after one. I can't think of anyone else though. Who I'm like, oh yeah, they do that voiceover because of their parents. I'll have to think on that. I'll have to do some research. Ooh. That's Tony fun. John says, the beginning of Miss Doubtfire when Robin William does all the different voices. Yes. Oh. But what is that in reference to? 
I mean, it's great. <laughs> I'm a little confused, but yeah, that part's yeah, good. Yeah, that part's really good. I just don't know, where was it about, like, who your favorite? I don't know. Yeah. Get this fire rate going because the shotgun <laughs> was a little slow to shoot between rounds. Okay, and then uh, let's see if I have enough for anything else. All right, John John says, Chris, mm -hmm. I was born July 3rd, 1990. Did you watch Dunson Checks In? Oh, with the orangutan? Like a bajillion years ago. Yeah. I couldn't tell you anything about it. It was an orangutan, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Uh, yeah. Something Rashad like that. asks if we've seen the SNL skit with Pascal as Mar. Mm -hmm. That one was so yeah. funny. Not yet. The, the oh. part where they're like, oh, there's like a fungus thing and it shows the Goomba. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So SNL, um, are, are the replays on Peacock now? They're not on Hulu? They're no longer on Hulu, but no. you can watch the clips, like the different skits on, on YouTube. YouTube. But you can watch the whole thing on Peacock, right? Yeah. I yeah. have, I do have that. I ended up getting Peacock and um, Apple TV because uh, they were just so cheap at the time. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay. And, and here, oh, here's the reason. Um, I really love baseball and it sucked, but I get why they did it. Certain really games so that the Dodgers were playing were only on Peacock. And then like... The and then it happened again with Apple TV. So I'm like, all right, that that was my gateway into those two. And they're cheap. They're not as expensive as Netflix. And so I finished For All Mankind, so I've been really loving Apple TV. I finished the episode last night um, of The Last of Us. Mm -hmm. And uh, I needed a palate cleanser, so I started Ted Lasso. And I'm on episode eight, season one. Oh, I'm so excited for you. I just binged it. I loved it. I love it so much. Apple TV is great. The new show on there, Shrinking, too. Oh, oh. yeah. yeah. I'm definitely going to watch that. It's really good. Like Harrison Ford and... Yeah. Um, oh, gosh. Jason Segel. Jason Segel, yeah. yeah. I'm going to watch that for sure. That'll probably be a bit of palate cleanser, too. Mm -hmm. Although it does seem like it might be a little deeper. It's got, like, dramedy kind yeah. of stuff. But I did like... Uh, I, I will say I found a comment for Ellie. I did like um, that... That scene where he Ted Lasso has that panic attack with the doors and all that. It is so well done because that's exactly what it's like and, too. And, the finger locking and everything. And he's so um, he's so joyful. And then to see him in that very like uh, what what's the word that uh, a situation where he could just you know I can't I'm drawing a blank. But uh, he was he acted that out really well. Loved mm -hmm. it. And then I got to one episode beyond that, and I was like, I got to sleep. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. All right, so we had clarification on the Robin Williams thing. It was just uh, because they knew that you do voiceover, Chris, so they oh. just wanted to mention Robin Williams doing all the different voices in Mrs. Oh, yeah. Empire. If, if you guys haven't seen him, actually, like his recordings from when he was doing uh, The Genie and Aladdin, it's so fun to watch. He's so animated. And it's just like the gold standard of how you should be in a booth. It, oh, he's incredible. Not your average Josh, says Taylor. You got to be thrilled that Puss in Boots, The Last Wish is now over 368 million worldwide. I am thrilled. Woo! Especially with the fact that you can watch it at home. The fact that people are still turning out in numbers to go see it at the theater, which is the way I would highly recommend doing it. I'm very proud of Puss. So I know that they made this harder. There used to be more stuff down there to hide behind. And now there isn't. I'm about to get caught. Let's see. Anthony Lozano says, Chris, being that you're an actor, do you think you feel it's harder for an actor to be successful in both TV and movie? Usually, it's never that they've won awards in both TV and movie. Um, I mean, it's all kind, kind of constantly changing. There's a lot more opportunities to get into television just because there's so many other small roles co-stars guest stars that sort of thing um procedurals right your cop dramas your like legal shows and things they always have a new cast of characters medical dramas so it's a little bit easier to get your foot in the door in that regard but i mean again it's all it's all kind of the same thing getting being a working actor is hard i think the sag uh, statistic is 11 percent of sag members are working actors so but I would like to say that you guys are very brave because I don't have the guts to mm. go out there and do that because it probably wouldn't work out for me. But I'm not that I'm trying to ever be an actor. That wasn't my goal. Mm -hmm. But you guys, it's an uphill battle and you keep with it. So, yeah. you know, Thanks, people should definitely respect that. Mm -hmm. 
appreciate that. So yeah, sometimes it sucks. <laughs> I feel like you would take rejection really well, though, because you wouldn't take it personally at all. Yeah, I'm like, all right. Well, whatever. Yeah, which is what you have to do. You're like, oh, this has pretty much nothing to do with me. <laughs> The Jay Shrey Way says, Chris, how do you mm -hmm. feel about Cody Rhodes? I think he has stepped up so much over the years and could see him being the face of WWE. Cody Shro Rhodes. Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare? Um, yeah, I guess so. I guess. Um, I'm not a fan of his neck tattoo of his own uh, like brand on his neck. I think that's... <laughs> a very very interesting choice um i mean his match was pretty good over at royal rumble i don't know if i'd i could see him as the face of wwe i'm gonna be honest with you guys too i really watch for the women's matches i mean like bianca i think is just crushing it bianca belair is so so good the women's royal rumble was amazing the guys matches i'm not always as impressed by i don't know i think it's just because the women are, are capable of being so um acrobatic Chris, does that look better focused to you? From back there? Yeah, you know I can barely see. You guys can see. Okay, I'll check. I'll check. Y'all don't need to see me in focus. It's fine. Should I <laughs> Should I do the witness protection voice no, actually, the whole time? No, that looks much better. Okay. <laughs> I was like, the thing about Royal Rumble is. All right, Alex Sarn wants to know, hey, Jonathan, have you messed with the 4080 or 4090 graphic card? No. I'm on a 2070 at home. I think we have 30 80s here, but no, I haven't gone to the next level. Um, is it, because I know moving from the 20 to the 30 was huge with NVIDIA, but uh, how is it? How are the, what's the benchmarks like for the uh, going up to the 40 series? I, tra I trade uh, NVIDIA options, but. Joey Baboy says, did the crew ever see that Robin Williams impersonator, Jamie Costa, pretty insane? I think so. It sounds familiar. Maybe. On on YouTube. Wasn't it like um, right after his passing, there was like a, a viral video going around of someone doing impersonations of him? Oh, maybe. I think uh, so. What was the question? Uh, if we have ever seen the Robin Williams impersonator, Jamie Costa. Uh, so Jamie Costa used to come in Collider all the time. I've worked with Jamie Costa a number of times. Um, oh, did he see me? Yes, he did. Behind the car. Uh, one second, guys. I got your back. Kill. <laughs> oh man, that guy just wanted to send Rob some scripts and you should. But yeah, I, I've worked with Jamie Costa a number of times with, uh, on the Schmo Down and also just at Collider and all the like little videos we used to put out. So he was a really nice guy. Yeah. So yes, I have seen those. I've seen most of his impersonations. His Gandalf is great as well. <laughs> um, I mean, when he does, I'm saying these are like spot on. General Grievous 19 says, hello there. <laughs> hello there. Hello there. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you want, <gasps> you didn't let me talk smack. Mm -mm. Joseph Sanchez says, just saw knock at the cabin. Actually really liked it. Are either of you planning on seeing the movie? I, I do want to see it. I love Rupert Grant. Oh, yeah. I won't oh, say right, anything. Right, he was good in it, though. Yeah, I really like him. I want to see uh, that other show. Servant. Servant. Yeah. That's also Apple TV. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've been hearing really good things about it, but I just oh, haven't had a chance. I need to, to catch up, but it, it, it's weird. That wall. Is it? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, there's a few things. I still got to get through Severance. I want to go through Slow Horses. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just excited for all of their content, so. Jonathan, sold. yes. Benjamin wants to know, uh -huh. what did you think of Star Trek 09? Rob's not in the room. <laughs> Rob is not here, so you're free to speak. Look, I, I enjoyed it. Not from like the prism of like, this needs to be Star Trek. But I also knew this is not what Star Trek's like. It's basically Star Trek for Star Wars fans. Um, oh, Joel. That's right. Um, but I didn't, you know, the second one, I was like, oh, this is kind of getting stupid. And then, um, the third one, I just did not like at all. Let's but I love original Star Trek, too. Chris. <laughs> this one's from Stephen Gamble. Okay. Did you like Lita and Trish? I'm assuming those are more WWE. Oh, those are more wrestlers. Lita, okay. like, debuted in 99, though, which is way before I was actually watching wrestling, so... I don't really have hard opinions on them, but I think both of them are in the Hall of Fame, if I'm not mistaken. 
Again, I'm super new to wrestling, you guys. I, I didn't start watching until the pandemic. And that was just because my friends um, in my pandemic bubble, Bumble, uh, Tiffany and Travis, are super into wrestling and they got me into it. Uh, oh, the game won't. Like, if you're spotted, it's whatever, but yeah, like they, don't, yeah, they don't really see her. <laughs> That's funny. It's funny because there's CJ and then there's CJ Rebirth, both in the live chat. So first up, we have CJ. All right. Hey, Taylor, do you act or write? Are you simply a lover of film? Um, Actually, now that you mention it, uh, that's one of my New Year's resolutions is to get into acting. Uh, but for the meantime, I'm just doing my own YouTube channel, uh, doing lots of Taylor's takes on movies. And uh, doing... This is a difficult run. Rob and I actually have an ongoing Would You Rather segment that's been really fun. And then the next question is from CJ Rebirth. Taylor, have you gotten to see Disneyland's new fireworks show, Wondrous? Oh, yeah, Wondrous Journeys. Uh, it's highlighting their 100th animation anniversary. Not yet, but I know Baymax flies over the castle and I can't wait. Oh, that's cool. The last couple of times I've gone to Disneyland, I've gone during the day. And uh, I go with my boyfriend like... Please don't turn around. Once a week. Uh, we just go for like a couple hours though. We just do a couple rides, uh, do a little bit of shopping, eat, and then head out. But the next time we go at night, we're going to check out the new fireworks and then we got to go to california adventure and we got to go check out the new uh world of color it's i think it's called one it looks really cool i know there's marvel characters that pop up um did you ever do you ever get drinks at the um ariel's grotto like kind of oh reserve? yeah it's the lamp light lounge now and oh. uh yeah i've tried almost so when that first there. started you didn't have to get reservations there you could just go and mm -hmm. then just kind of like plant yourself so we used to do that but once they started the reservation things, it got a little more difficult. Yeah, I like to get heavily intoxicated at Disneyland and um, see what happens. They're so expensive, though. Yeah. I haven't been in a while. spoof -a man They're very proud of their drinks. Hi, question for Jonathan. Because yeah. The Last of Us 2 is longer than one, do you think they'll split it into two seasons? Well, they'll have to do more than nine episodes, that's for sure, but go ahead. Uh, make a longer season or just cut content? I think, well, we have seen some content cut here too, because like, you don't need this in a show. This would be so laborious, you know? You get some, some of the main incursions, and then you just kind of move on to like the narrative, right? You don't need to see Joel and Ellie going through every little maze here, fighting people every five seconds. So they'll cut content, um, but they also need to, oh boy, sorry, I'm sure you're nice. He had a box of scripts ready for Robin. Yeah, I totally ended it. See, but now I went pow pow, and now people know. You know what, Jonathan? This question is really good too from Pablo. Uh, -huh. uh, so he says, "I'm seeing Jonathan beating the crap out of these goons, yeah. and I'm wondering, do you think season two will be more brutal, given the subject matter being hate rather than love?" Uh, oh. there's definitely going to be some brutality there because it's about re you're right. It's yeah. about revenge, and and uh, I'll take that the uh, fallout from going up seeking your revenge the whole thing about about this is it's about cause and effect and everything you do has repercussions and a lot of people don't want to have to live that way or they don't want to have to have their their characters live that way they want everything to just be like and there was no negative outcome to their decisions and that's just not how life works that's why i do like where they took the story Let's see, Stephen uh, Sellers says, hi, Chris Carr. Hi. Oh, is that it? Hi. Just hi. Hi, Stephen. <laughs> Mr. 47 asks if blue milk is the best drink they sell at Disneyland because he would go just for that. No, because there's it's, no alcohol in the blue milk. It's for sure not the best drink. Yeah. It's not, it's not going to get you where you need to go. But the cantina is lit. Oh, the cantina is so it fun. Is so lit. Oh. I spent my, uh, so... My birthday is June 6th. Uh, put it in your calendar, everybody. Set an Apple alert. June 6th. Thank you very much. So I'll be turning 22. I'll be turning 22, yes. And um, so for my birthday, the year that Galaxy's Edge opened, that was, I oh, had no, still saw me. my reservations for June 5th to go check out the land. And I was in the cantina when the clock okay, struck midnight him. having two drinks. I was double fisting drinks in the cantina the minute it turned on my birthday. So that was really fun. It's so great. I have that um, cookbook and I have the drink recipes in it. Some of oh, them. So we yeah. should do that. We should. We should. Let's see. There's a question like that I was playing in here. Oh, you know what? I think I think someone deleted their question. 
Oh. I know it says message retracted, and I think that was the one that I wanted to read. Oh no. I can't even tell where the shimmy from. Oh. oh, okay. Sorry, the man with the master, master plan. I'm not uh -oh. really. Definitely reload 22. now. <laughs> you guys, I'm so uh. old, but it's funny to joke that I'm not. I've got one bun in the grave. <laughs> I've got a, a house full of scripts and a bun in the grave. <laughs> a bun in the grave. <laughs> okay, I literally couldn't see this person here. What do you guys think? Sorry, this is from Benjamin. What do you guys think of Pedro Pascal's performance as Joel so far? I love it. I was talking with some friends last night, though. Um, it's so interesting that these two particularly iconic roles of his now, right? Him being Joel, um, aw, womp womp, um, and him being Mando. Right? They're these very stoic, very emotionally unavailable people. And he's so funny and goofy in all of his interviews. It's just really interesting to see that juxtaposition of, mm. you know, what he brings to screen and what he's like, apparently, in real life. Um, but I think he's been doing a great he's job. Been great. I love job. his performance. He's um, so good. Mr. 47 in the live chat says, no freaking way, Taylor. My birthday is on June 6th, too. That's so awesome. What? There birthday go, wins. Everyone. Google Calendar that. Bow, bow, bow. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I almost pressed the super chat button. What do you want to do for your birthday, Taylor? I kind of want to go to Solving. I went last year to Solving <laughs> okay. uh, with David, June, and uh, David's dad, and we did wine tasting. We want to sit down with you guys to talk about Solving, because that's what we might do for our anniversary. Oh, hell yeah. You know who I'm working on the Solving trip with right now is Erin. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I sent her, there's this really cute dog-friendly hotel. Mm -hmm. and I was like, Joey has to come, June has to come. For those of you that don't uh, don't know, Solving, it's like a little Danish town. Like two hours-ish from yeah. LA. Central Cali Central oh, almost on the border of Central California. Yeah, and um, my boyfriend David and I, that was our first like big trip together. And so we have matching, I don't know if you can really tell because I'm like really far away. We have matching windmill tattoos because there's windmills everywhere in Solving. Uh, I love Solving. I fed ostriches there. I have... Uh, Evil skeevers. Did you say you fight ostriches? <laughs> Probably. Uh, Logan's gonna fight <laughs> an ostrich. That's what he's gonna want to do. My husband hates birds. Oh, he hates yeah. them so much. Oh shit. And I think if he had the opportunity to fight an ostrich, that'd be the most beautiful Let's gift not I could give him. I'm pretty sure would he would lose because when they get those talons. <laughs> oh up, yeah. Yeah. No. What's the name of the place? Ostrich. That's like fighting a raptor. Well, he's so he's so skinny. You, you hug him, you can get a paper cut. Like Logan's Logan's a lean boy. That is so. Uh, we don't have to do that though when he's there. We can just we can do the able skeevers, the pea soup. I, I really love the able skeevers, by the way. I, yeah. I really Both, since this. my childhood, my mom used to make them too. Because we go there and she get the mix mm -hmm. and the little mold that you put it in. Did they taste good or what? They did taste good. They don't taste like shrimp. Ray's crazy. Yeah, I Sorry, I'm just telling Ray the sponsors for the app. Raw show. nuts. <laughs> because I don't like salty nuts and it's healthier to eat them raw. And yeah. all of that I just said on the internet. I'm excited for the internet to clip that out of you, buddy. <laughs> I feel like I've said worse. <laughs> That's true. It was um, like me trying to avoid saying J-I-Z today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Matt Sanders says, I feel like Rob is there in the room. Oh, oh is that because of my impersonation? You guys can send questions. Rob's not in this room. But if you want to send in <laughs> questions for him, I'll, I'll answer them Taylor for you. Answer. Meanwhile, in the <laughs> Hall of Family. Uh... Antoine, I, I don't know if that's Antoine is. I'm sorry, I I tried. Hey Taylor, Jonathan, and Chris, my question is the following. What's your favorite Batman movie and video game? Doesn't have to be the Dark Knight trilogy or the Arkham series necessarily. Oh, I mean the Arkham series is so good though. I know. Yeah. That game is great. I still go back and play um the first two, mm -hmm. you know, back to back. No. Yeah, I think the yeah. Arkham games definitely. I mean, there's yeah. there's been other fun ones. Like, uh, I think I talked about this a couple weeks ago on the lunch break. Let's play. Mm -hmm. Chris, have you ever heard of um, Gotham City Imposters? No. It's. I think it was on the Xbox 360, and it was like uh, Batman and the Joker are gone for whatever reason. Mm. So the city of Gotham, a bunch of people take over and dress up like really cheesy homemade costumes of Batman, and then all the villains dress up as their own Joker. <gasps> And it's kind of like a, like, I don't know how you would, it's kind of like a Fortnite-ish type of game where there's two teams and you, you fight it out in the city. It's it's really funny. Ooh, okay. Uh, I used to play that game a lot. And then as far as movies, I feel like if we, okay, if we were taking the Dark Knight trilogy out, I still don't know. Dead. 
I mean, oh, come on, Joel. The, I, I have a soft spot for those Tim Burton movies, mm -hmm. um, particularly the second one because Michelle Pfeiffer was such a fun cat woman. Yeah. Um, and I loved how campy they were. I loved how extra they were. Um, Thanks, Sally. I will totally give everyone, though, that the you want to see crazy, let's get crazy or let's get nuts, whatever <laughs> the line is, is like, that's not a very Batman line, but I like it and it's fun. And Michael Keaton slays. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. there we go. Man. Michael Keaton's my Batman. He's so good. So good. Give me my Batman Beyond movie with Michael Keaton. It's all I want. Yeah. I ask for so little. Oh, that's cute. Uh, the man with the master plan says the dad jokes were funny and his kid loved the scarecrow ones. That's, that's oh, yeah, in the, that's the show? show. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. In the show. I was like, <laughs> we just completely <laughs> changed do dad jokes <laughs> Yeah, we do dad jokes in here, too. Aww. Jonathan, do you have any? You're, you're a dad. Do you have any dad jokes for you us? You have tons of... Well, I feel like you make dad jokes a lot. I make them. Yeah. I just say stupid things that annoy me, like that, that make my kids cringe on purpose, and I love it. It's so great when they're here and you do it, though, and you just can see you their can souls see leave like, their body. They become little prunes. <laughs> just, Dad, no! Uh, my so dad great. joke is that I don't have a dad. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. It's an ongoing routine. Yeah, we. I think I told you this, Chris, that I used to tell everyone that my dad died in a rhino hunting accident. <laughs> and then... Taylor! This is, this is real, because when I was a kid, I would rather tell people, oh, my dad, you know, like, died hunting a rhino yeah. in the forest or wherever rhinos are, instead of... They're not in the forest. Like, <laughs> he wasn't. He wasn't there. So I would tell everyone that, and this was in middle school. And we were playing video games at my house, mm -hmm. and my friends and I needed to go get uh, batteries because the controllers oh, were dude, yeah. yeah. And so we got to Kmart of all places because back then, you know, this was before we had driver's licenses. So we walked to a Kmart, and we were in the uh, electronics aisle getting batteries, and my dad was in the aisle, and he goes, oh, hey, buddy, what's up? <laughs> and then everyone was like, who the fuck's this, like, you know, 40-year-old man. man saying, like, hey, buddy, to you? And I had to explain to everyone, oh, that that really is my dad. He didn't you know, get trampled by a rhino in the Amazon. Where are rhinos? Uh, Serengeti? Yeah. Is that a forest? No. no. Let's see where this well, leads us. There's some holes in my story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. Matt Sanders says, is this real? <laughs> It is. I have so many weird stories about... <sighs> yeah. Hi, Jinx. Would you be surprised to know, wait, is Taylor really not bright? No, I'm just kidding, you guys. I know that rhinos live in Antarctica. <laughs> the South Pole. Yeah, you nailed Santa it. Santa is. Great job. Rhinos, polar bears. What is a cocaine Gremlin. rhino, Taylor? Cocaine rhino... You know, uh, I was just talking about this the other day. If they're going to do a spinoff of Cocaine okay. Bear... It would just be like a different animal with a different drug. It should be a hippo. Hippos are so mean. Yeah, like heroin hippo. Heroin hippo. Did, I'd watch it. Someone, someone said something about oh, like opioid octopus or something like that. In oh, the no. Chat that thing. I know. I know. Storage room. Let's That's see. Awful. Please don't tell me I left the... Oh, good. There's more stuff in there. Steven says, yes, Chris Carmichael Keaton. Yeah. That kind of thinking. Am I supposed to answer something? Do you want to? What was the question? No, we were just. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought, I thought, I thought you guys were waiting for me to say. Well, uh, T one thousand also says Keaton also said, "Let's get crazy, let's get nuts in yeah. Beetlejuice." I can't do that. I can't do that voice. I can do raw voices, but I can't do Michael Keaton voices. Can you do a Michael Keaton Beetlejuice voice, Chris? Not really. That's a tough one. It's oh, it's very uh, it's very like garbly and that's not that's not where my range lives. <laughs> Oh, I, honestly, go. I have to think about what he sounds like. I can probably Beetlejuice? try it. I have to. I have to watch it. I have to watch things for a while and like and, and like absorb it. So we have some questions for Rob. <laughs> I totally forgot. I was like, why are people sending questions for Rob? It's like, yeah, I asked for him. So first one, the man with the master plan is Rob eating alone. You're never eating alone when you're in the Hall of Family. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I don't even know where he is. He just said he was going to get food. Hmm. And that was the last we ever saw of him. CJ asks, hey, Rob, where can I send my scripts? Man, if only. If only Peel I had box. an answer for that. <laughs> I wish I knew the Zoom one so we could do that. 
Have a rhino carry them to me. Instead of a carrier pigeon, a carrier rhino. rhino. From forest, moving from forest to forest. Oh no, Haunted Autumn says, Meanwhile, in the box of scripts. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, well he does have boxes of scripts. And shelves. Very, very heavy shelves. That I will never move again. Oof. Wait, can I go underwater? Is there anything to go underwater for? Uh, Benjamin asks Jonathan, did you like the Batman? The Batman? Are you kidding me? I directed it. <laughs> it's Talk his movie. It. Like it. How dare you. Huh. Would you be surprised to know? That's that's such a great username. Um, do you switch so that Chris gets to play? No. <laughs> Anyone's welcome to play. I'm not like, my game only. But... Yeah, I'm, I'm just here to hang out. And guys, so originally I was hoping we'd get to the part where we uh, would run into Sam and Henry. Because that's where we ended the episode last night. But uh, I struggled a lot at the very beginning, as some of you saw. So we're close, but there's this whole ho hotel segment here that it's going to take me a while. So we'll get that maybe like, what do you think, maybe tomorrow or, or Wednesday? What did we do last week? We did Monday, Thursday or something like that? Yeah, but let's it do it again on... when Chris can be here. Yay! So we can do it like... Uh, uh, Probably not Wednesday, though. Uh, not Wednesday, because that's Weekly yeah, Hero, yeah. and they started... But maybe like Friday? Friday? Yeah. Yay! That'd be fun. Um, low hit? I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce Ooh, it. I'm shit. sorry. Chris is playing Candy Crush on her phone. Yeah, no, I'm in the chat with you guys. <laughs> I do want to show... Oh, let's see. Okay, so let me get up here. Okay, I know what I gotta do. I gotta go out here. There's a pallet. Yeah, oh, it's a Jack pallet. Frost. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Wait here. I'm gonna get this pallet, and I just want to show you guys something, and then we'll stop it at this hotel because it the hotel's gonna take a while. There's a lot of floors, there's a lot of exploring, a lot of fighting in this hotel. Ratcha. So we'll just get to it. Oh, that's the truck. Yeah, uh, Chris, do you know about this? Matt Sanders was asking if anyone's seen about Matthew McConaughey and as always. That's animated, right? And that's that's someone wrote in about it this year. Agent Elvis? Yeah, Agent Elvis. It's animated right now. Mm -hmm. Matthew McConaughey. As Elvis. No, I yeah, believe okay. it's animated. Do you know anything you guys... about that? I haven't had a chance. No, to I'm assuming it. it's like during if it's if it's based off of like actual history. When um You know what is Nixon talk of? to him. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Because he did become a he did get a like a license or whatever. Yeah. Um it was a narcotics thing, which is ironic. Mm -hmm. um, that drunk history is so good, too. <laughs> oh, it's a Netflix show. He's oh. a spy in it. Yeah. Oh, watch, watch the the drunk history with Jack Black as Elvis. I love talking the, about it. I love the YouTube uh, uh, drunk histories because they were real, like they were really getting drunk. Yeah. And then when they went to like wherever it got picked up, they were just acting drunk and then it lost its luster. Yeah. Um, because I used to love that one and the Tesla and yeah, there were some other ones. There were great drunk histories. Um, have you guys ever seen, speaking of actual like historical events, did you guys ever see Bubba Hotep? Yes. And Elvis. It's, take, it's supposed to be Elvis and JFK didn't die. Mm -hmm. And there's like this sca a scarab alien. Guys, if you've never seen Bubba Hotep, watch it. It's a great indie flick. So look, Bruce Campbell's a this, this is what I wanted to see you guys. So we're in this city and this is where we see this hotel, this flooded hotel. But they took inspiration for this in episode mm -hmm. two. Mm -hmm. They were crossing through here uh, in this like bellhop area over here when they're going to the, you know, that museum and all that. Mm -hmm. But it takes place later in the game. Basically, just wanted to show you guys this. This hotel is going to take a while before we find Henry and uh, Sam. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll cut it here. We've got just about an hour and 10 minutes before The Last of Us after show. Woo -woo. So we'll be taking you guys super chats there and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for joining us. Bye.